public art is just becoming such an important part of beautifying spaces, of people expressing themselves, of kind of tackling various issues in society in a really positive way. Truly a positive way. And these temperatures might not feel like it, but summer is right around the corner, Lauren. Yes, yeah, so we've met this local artist before here on Good Morning Indiana, and now she wants your team to join her for a summer mural camp. It looks like a lot of fun in Kelsey Anderson's and Anderson and, and Fisher's rather this morning with all the details. Hey, Kelsey. Hey, good morning, Lauren. So it's starting to feel a little spring like this morning. Certainly not summer. We had those spring like temperatures yesterday. At least it was spring to me, uh, but obviously not summer yet, but it's not too early to think about those summer camps. And here at Brook School Park, Coda Witzkin, she wants your teen to get involved in her mural camp. It's going to be here learning how to paint, but more importantly, she says it's going to give these kids a chance to have a say in the art that's on display in their community. The appetite for outdoor, accessible, high-end public art has absolutely skyrocketed. We first introduced you to Coda Witzkin in 2021. She was a featured artist for Jiffy Lube's mural project. I think art um, is one of the most positive and easiest ways to bring people together, uh, to tell stories without language, to help people understand different perspectives. Now she wants to give the same opportunity to 16 teens in Hamilton County. So we will be making murals. Uh, each student will make their own, okay. but it also comes with some business modules, some public art history modules so they can understand the importance over time of the craft. The camp runs every morning from July 18th through the 22nd at Brook School Park. I just want them to leave feeling empowered in every single way, whether they pick up some new art skills, because this is a really hard thing to do, whether they meet some new people over the course of camp or they understand that, hey, I think I like this and I could do this for the foreseeable future. That would just be such a treat. And also it's really new for adults and kids to paint a mural. So if they have a unique experience that generally helps everybody grow. Yeah. Now, Whitkin says you can have zero art experience or be a muralist yourself to join this camp. Now, the cost is $5.50 for Fisher's residents and $8.25 for those who aren't Fisher's residents. Now, that is a hefty price. And so, uh, Fisher's Parks, they do have scholarship programs that you can apply for to get that funding if you need it. Whitkin says she wants to make sure that this camp is accessible to everybody and that she wants them to use those resources. So, you can reach out to her or you can visit this story right now on WRTV.com for more information. We're Looking for you, Kelsey Anderson, WRTV.